What's up guys, Joe from Thorns of the Forsaken here, coming to you today with a new list. Five things that absolutely suck about being in a one-man band. Number five, I don't get to jam with people. Now, I like being a loner, doing the solo stuff, but even I have to admit that when everybody gets locked in on the groove and starts jamming, it's really something special, and that's kind of when the new songs just appear out of nowhere, it seems. And it's pretty hard to do that with just a computer and my one brain. I have my own style, and it's good when different styles come together. You'd be surprised how they mix together. Number four, I gotta have a ridiculous amount of equipment to play live. Now with a full band, you have two amps, let's say, bass amp, three guitars, drum kit, vocals, whatever, maybe a keyboard, but you also have like four or five people carrying all that stuff. Now shows are tiring. I mean, come on, we're carrying all our gear to play 30 minutes. We end up spending seven hours there. But, you know, it's so worth it. But as a one-man band, taking the six or seven trips back and forth, carrying all my gear in, and still having to keep an eye on it to make sure nothing walks away, it gets annoying and it gets tiring. And since it's just me who knows how to set up my equipment for live, especially with the click track and everything, setup is a and so is teardown. Now, I am lucky to have supportive family who help me carry stuff in and tear down and everything, but man, it's still just a pain not having anybody else in the band who knows how to set up stuff. And not to mention, it took so much trial and error to find a working solution to play live, especially with a backing track with click in my ears. Number three, I gotta compose everything myself. Now, what I've had experience with in my previous bands were I would write guitar parts, the drummer would write the drums, vocalist would write the lyrics or the harmonies and stuff. So we each were able to do what we were best at. And when all of that came together, we could have a professional sound because everyone kind of knew what they were doing on their respective instruments. For me, I got to write the guitar parts, the bass parts, do the drums, programming, keyboards, and then make it all sound together and arrange it in a way that works for the song. It's not necessarily a difficult thing to do, but it is very time consuming. I can't just say, okay, Mr. Bass Player, go ahead and do your stuff. I gotta sit down, think about what's going on on the guitar and how the bass would properly complement that and so on. And even if an instrument isn't my best, say the drums, I still have to make it work. Number two, all the blame rests on me for screwing up live. You know how it goes. You hear this weird note or a little bit of dissonance live. Everybody looks to the bassist. Come on, bassist. But live, when it's just me and I make a mistake, people tend to assume it's me who screwed up. I can't just say, well, the computer that I, you know, the computer happened to play a wrong note and, you know, it's just, that's what happens when you're dealing with computers. Nope, ain't gonna happen. And not to mention, if I mess up or stop or anything, my backing track is going to go on without me, whether I'm ready or not. So, I gotta get back into the groove and pick up where it left off. It also forces me to have perfect rhythm and tempo. And the number one thing that sucks about being in a one-man band carrying all the gear. I know, I know, I said that in number four, but it bears repeating. I have three keyboards, two electric guitars, bass, an amp, my Mac, all the stuff to set up the Mac and have the interface with it, my gigantic pedal board that weighs about 35 pounds, not to mention anything I wanna do with uh, video recording. So it's a lot of stuff and it's a truck full of gear. Now in a prior band, like people carry their own instruments. I carry my guitar and amp, bassist carries his bass and whatever amp he's using, drummer, well maybe we'll help the drummer. Vocalist, nah, because you know, vocalists do you know what during load in. So even with help from family and all, 
it takes five or six trips and I'm a little leery of helpful strangers at the show who offer to carry my expensive equipment back and forth out of my sight. I never know when something's going to walk off and most of my stuff's pretty essential to the live show. So there you have it. Five things that I think kind of suck about being in a one-man band. Now there's a lot of great things about it and you can check out my other video. Five things that rock about being in a one-man band. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you liked my video, be sure to hit the like button over here and be sure to subscribe too so that you don't miss any new videos. Have a good one and rock out.